feels like he's he's got the oh there's the jump ball take it to a thing which he looks like he does yeah. now you want to make him stay a little collected okay. um, and and not change his balance in front of that I would still like Erica you're trying to be you know just push your half pulse through just a little bit of hurry it's better by the end I want more energy and less quickness um, make sure you're not underpowered okay. Uh, I'm not sure, like, what you've been doing with him, John. I know you've sent some pictures, and you've been doing courses. Like you said you haven't jumped in a while, but right. normally we, you can canter in courses and so forth. Yeah, we did two beginner novice events last yeah, okay, fall. Right. Um, but it's been a while. Yeah. Well, just a little more power, not necessarily more speed. Okay. Last time was good, but the one before that, he was a bit, um, I just wanted to go. Okay. Well, yeah. it got. With that one, I go. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we'll see how he does. He doesn't have to modify some of the exercises, but it's like you want to be able to look down. You want to have arches and grades, but you're more interested in trying to go. So just go back that way. Just keep holding on with a bow. I'll go. the big one. from some woman somewhere near West Virginia. <laughs> you're, you're bracing a little bit. Well, I'm nervous a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it looks much better there. You, you know, you want to just you know, go with him. Yeah. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to see you shorten your stirrups a hole. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. I can do that. Can you hold this wild man while I shorten my stirrups? Let your horse do the jumping and you can just hold him.
Okay. trot we've not done corners before Okay. the horse, my hands the rider. What you want you want to just be in a nice sort of forward half seat, right? Okay. And then as you get to the jump, you just keep your body position steady. Let the horse rise up to close the angle between his neck and your body. Okay. Over the jump it levels out away from the door and opens, right? You're you're doing this. Okay. Right. So just be here and let the horse do the jumping. Okay. So, and it's like, it works well as a combination. I say go up in two point three or four strides. That, and then you're already there. You don't have to move more. Forward. Okay. So what you're doing is you're bit just a, a little bit behind the motion. And then when the horse jumps, you're moving forward. Too much. Go ahead when you're ready. But then what happens is if the horse jumps a fraction earlier than you're expecting, you're left behind. Yeah. If the horse jumps a little later than you're expecting, you jump up ahead of him like happened here one right. time. Right. And even if your timing's right and you go right at the right moment, there's more movement than there is. Okay. So if you just get in that balance, not ahead of the motion, not behind the motion, but balanced over your feet, then over the fence you hardly have to do anything. Okay. All right. And, that, and that's what I mean. You, you get that little bit of a, oh, God, here's the jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? But the second time was... It's good because you got fluid, you got with it, and a lot of it's probably just kind of, okay, it's not kind of like I can relax a little bit. Yes, yes.
okay. 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 Then when you came around to this the first time, it's like you, 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 you see your spot just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> just enough to mess you up. Because when you got about two strides ahead, you went, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you kind of threw yourself back. Like, you, it was going to be a bit of a long one, maybe. Mm -hmm. Had you just stayed in balance and kept using your leg, you probably would have put a short one in. Okay. But, or you could have stayed in balance and kicked him and he would have gone long. Okay. And either would have been okay. Okay. But when you, what you did is you used the driving seat where you shifted your body back and that lengthened him and he gave you the long one, but then you're, you're in the back seat. Yes. Right? Yes. So my point is just stay in balance, whether you're standing up a little or whether you're closer to keep your balance the same in front of this. Use your legs as you need. But try not to make big changes in those last two strides. Okay. You can come to the fence sitting. You can come to the point of the fence up at a seat point. You can be in a sort of a half seat in between, but you don't want to have the changes in between. Okay. So when you, when I made this kind of keep going and repeat it, then a couple of times, like one time you get the long spot, uh -huh. what a great jump, but you were balanced. Yes, yes. And then good here, you jump big, but you were balanced. One thing you get a little bit here and maybe a bit tiny bit here at the third part of the triple is sometimes when the jump's bigger, your position's good as you leave the ground, it's good over the fence, and then you just almost come back before Flip the Flip back, step. yes, yes. And I think it's like the timing of the jump when it's smaller or vertical, it's like ba dum ba dum ba dum jump, ba dum ba dum But when the fence is bigger, that jump, you just have to stay in your jumping position. Yeah, yeah. Nanoseconds. I think that's a little loss of core strength yeah, over the winter yeah. that not holding myself up as much as I should be, but that'll come back. All right, uh, make that a wide X. Okay, um, put one end of 